Then one of the things that I actually found out that is in Puma, uh, which actually like threw me was the fact that there are these stones that um, they use for decorations like ties uh, on building. Hello everybody, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing great. Elster Africa here again with another interesting and amazing episode. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you some insight about the town of Puma. Puma, if you don't know, is a town located along the Yaoundé Douala Highway. Um, haven't uh, actually, I don't know much about the city. I was just here for, I think, a day. And uh, the first video went up already. Some few persons liked the video. Some few persons watched it. If you haven't watched that video, go check out on that video. Um, it was actually me showing you some side of the town. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be telling you some of the things that are actually in Puma that probably I didn't share with you or I couldn't share with you in that video. Some of the things that I know that you probably have loved to know about Puma is the fact that you would have loved to know how many persons actually live in Puma or like the population of Puma. But it is so disheartening that when you go to Google, probably on Wikipedia, you find little or no information about this particular town. Like that's just one of the things that is actually peculiar with cities in Cameroon. And uh, like when you just go to the internet, you won't find much information about these places. Reason why we actually have to go out there and show you these other parts of the country that probably you haven't got an idea of. And uh, that's just it. While in Puma, like if you want to pass the night in Puma, there are two hotels in Puma, even though I couldn't actually spot where these hotels were. But um, I mean, I'm going to try to put some images here so that you can actually see for yourself. Uh, I know that there is this hotel, whether they say it's Jardin de Den. I hope I'm going to pronounce the name well. It's in French, though. Um, while in the town, the simplest means of uh, circulation in the town is through motorbikes. Nothing much more than this. You can't accept that you're going to be a private car, then okay, good and fine for you. From the little information I could actually spot on uh, Wikipedia, Puma has a population of uh, 13,742 inhabitants. That's actually according to the 2005... <clears throat> that's according to the 2005 um, census that was conducted. I mean, I, I feel like there was another census in 2000 and surely 13 or 11. But it's not updated yet. I don't even know who is to update this. <laughs> Then actually, you can find like 19 inhabitants per kilometer square. Come to think of it, just 19 persons per kilometer square. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that sounds somehow crazy, but that's the reality on ground. Puma is more of like a town when you are passing actually in a bus or like it is just a town that is concentrated just around the road. But when you get inside, it is a typical village. Um, it's a village. Yeah, it's a village. And uh, I mean, like the total area or the land, total area of Puma should be 701 kilometer square. So it's not much of a big, uh, is it? It's, it's, it's not much of a big subdivision, let me put it that way. You know, literally, it's not one of the biggest division uh, regions in Cameroon. It's like, I think, one of the, should be the test smallest. Then, one of the things that I actually found out that is in Puma. Uh, which actually like threw me was the fact that there are these stones that um, they use for decorations like ties uh, on buildings uh, I mean like the stones are somehow exceptional like if you have been so much of a vigilant person traveling between Douala and Yaoundé you find these stones that are sold, that are sold along the road probably those ones along the road are just for exhibitions and uh, I mean when you want them in large quantities you actually get to have them the way you want. Puma, as I earlier mentioned, is in the littoral region of Cameroon and the Sanaga Maritime Division of the littoral region of Cameroon. Uh, Puma is the headquarters of uh, Puma subdivision. Uh, it is a small town actually located on the highway between Douala and Yaoundé. As I earlier said, like it is after Yaoundé if you are living from it is after uh, Edea, sorry. It is after Edea if you are living from Douala. And uh, 
if you are living from Yaounde, it should be after um, Bumyebel, for people who know this place. It's like, time is actually coming now. We're going to visit all of these places and uh, share with you the other side of the, 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 the this country that probably you haven't been seeing them somewhere. If you go to the internet, you wouldn't find many of them. Okay. Right away, we hit to some of the things that you would find in Puma if you are actually visiting this place. First, Puma is uh, in the French part of Cameroon. You would mostly find people who express themselves in French. And um, as well, you have English speaking Cameroonians. In this other side of the country, I actually saw much of, many of them in this part of the country. You know, um, one of the things that uh, I don't know if should, I, I should call it cash crops or one of the things that is mostly cultivated in this part of the country is plantains. Like what you're seeing right there is uh, just a part of what I, I, I could actually film. Plantains in Puma, you have coconuts. Um, these are the things that I actually could figure out myself because as I earlier said in the other video, I was an opportunity to actually talk with some of the persons you or with some of the inhabitants of Puma. Oh, if you have actually watched this video to this point, please do me a favor, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Do leave a comment of what you think about this video. And uh, above all, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Uh, do share this video so that many others can come here and I mean learn more about some of the towns in Cameroon that or some of the places in Cameroon that they haven't got an idea about. Like um, on this channel, I am actually out to show you the side of Cam the other side of Cameroon. And um, we can only do this together if you watching me is actually ready to support, not financially, but I mean, with just a like, we just by just you clicking the subscribe button and actually watching the video as well all through, like it's going to do us great favor. Uh, thank you so, so much for having watched this particular one. I, I hope the small information I shared in this actually would help someone someday. Uh, one never knows. It's Elster Africa here, signing out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.